Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. What I want to do today, we're playing some standard here on MTG Arena. What I want to do today is I want to put together a black-blue control list because there's a lot of blue and black cards that I really like in this format. And I want to play them together in the same deck. And I want to see if that works. I'll put some Aether Gusts in the sideboard. Put three of those bad boys in there for now. And... Uh, Maybe two disdainful strokes. Okay, well, there you go. Get over there. And what else? Got an essence scatter? Is that a thing? We got essence scatter in this format. Essence capture. That's yeah, not the same at all, guys. I've been promised standard brews, and I have no idea what I want to play in standard. Show me some spot. All right, we're gonna we're gonna see what we can do here. We got some negates. How many counter spells do we really need though on the sideboard? I like omen. We're gonna put four omens in to begin with. That's where we're at. Mediocre Magic Man, I did. Joe, I did get your email. I did get your email. And I would actually love to do that. Plus it's a Sultai deck, so like I don't even know what you're thinking. Like I don't even know why you asked me that. It's weird. It's like I'm gonna say no. It's not even in my vocabulary when it comes to thank you. those beautiful babes. Zimini Pot, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. 15 months is getting pretty serious, so when can I move in? That's the next step. Show us some spicy standard. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Look at these two walls of mist. Which mist do you want? Oh, Brazen Borrower? Yeah, let's put two of those guys in for now. I don't know if it's as good in this format. Guys, the gold cards are really what I'm working towards. I'm going to be honest with you. It definitely seemed up my alley, and I'm glad you think so. Oh, God. I want to just put all these cards in the sideboard. We don't have to play them, but I, I want to keep my options open here. Sinister Sabotage is nice. Again, putting some cards in the deck just so we know it's there, and then we can adjust the numbers accordingly. Uh, da, da. Jace. Oh, I like a Kefnet. Let's put two Kefnets in this bad boy. You guys like Kefnet? You guys ever get trapped in the Kefnet? It's cold out. I don't think we're a Thassa deck. Our creatures are... Our, our, our cards are going to be like... We're going to put like... Uh, what does this dude do? You make two O twos and a four five for five mana. It's interesting. I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm here for it though. I don't think it's terrible, but I don't think I'm here for it. The Ricks. Well. Well, we haven't gotten it. Take it easy. Take it easy. We're not at Gadwick yet. All right. Just take it easy. We're in the end game now, guys. Uh, well, let's play one Agent of Treachery just to see, just to see how that goes. Let's play one Kiara Bests the Sea God, just to you know, just to see how it feels. Oh, uh, well, I like a Thassa's intervention too. Dang. Let's play two of those. Let's select a format traditional standard for sure. Or sh why did you change? Why did you do that? <laughs> wow, that was horrendous. Why would it do? Why would it? Why would you have a UI that resets your cards once you? That's weird, man. Is the real reason you guys are moving to because Mike B is becoming a Mormon and already has a couple wives lined up? I can't. I can't talk about Mike's personal life. That's just inappropriate. That's just inappropriate. Um, I do like one Gadwick. All right, now we're on the black cards. Uh, let's do some Duressi boys. And yeah, that's fine. Product wound, one of the dead. None of these are exciting yet. Josh, are we not Facebook friends anymore, buddy? 
I made a big ass post. Mediocre Magic Man, I will see you when you get back, ideally. I want to put four of these in the main deck. I don't know if they're going to stay there. I want to find out, though. Ah, it is very likely you missed it then. Okay. I understand. I see. Legion's End. Put two of those in the sideboard. Um, again, like I said, we're going for the gold here. Noxious Grass. We're going to have to cut our sideboard down, but I just want to make sure I have these cards in here for uh, consideration purposes. Purposes. Okay. I wonder if like one command the dread horde is good here. Probably, right? Like that card was bonkers for us the other day. Bonkers. Murderous Rider. Let's put two of those guys in here. Okay, we still got a lot of room. That's good. I'm glad. Josh, we're not at the gold cards yet, but yes, those are those are all cards that I'm very much considering. Just just take it easy. You guys are jumping the gun here. You guys are like, what about the lands in the deck? And I'm like, we're not even there yet, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Adam, what's going on, my dude? Put two of these guys in here for now. Drag is probably not great. I don't see us having... I did say we're going for the gold. That's fair. I can't argue with you. Thank you. Thirsting Bloodlord. Well, that's something. Murbler, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Always a pleasure, my dude. I appreciate it. Cavalier of Night. We're not gonna have that many creatures. Let's get let's get to the gold cards, guys. We're not Doom Whisperer. You guys remember you guys remember Doom Whisperer? Whatever happened to that guy? Oh, I really like how the constellation borders glow like this. That's amazing. That's really satisfying. Wow, that's cool. I like that a lot. Ritual's alright, I'm sure. God, how far back was it? Okay. Play one command that two command the dread hordes because I'm a big fan. All right, we're gonna get to the gold card soon. Ooh, a Liliana, two Lilianas. Our deck is very expensive now. I don't care about Erebus's intervention. Rob loved this card. I think it's all right. I think it's okay. Uh, get through all of these. All right, so one, two, three, four temples. Probably like two dismal backwaters just to make sure we have enough. I don't think we're a drown in the lock deck. Is Thought Ratio better than Agonizing Remorse? Probably. Is Tyrant scoring good here? Maybe. I mean, Thief of Sanity was definitely one of the few cards that we wanted to definitely play. Um, same thing with Ashiok. Oh, uh, yeah, so is Atrus. Play three Atrus because it's a because uh, it's legendary. And two Ashioks. And this could be the deck, to be quite honest. Oh, we wanted Lockmere Serpent. That was one of the finishers that I really, really wanted. Let's take out Agent of Treacheries. I don't know if this is a Kefnet deck, actually. I don't know if it's a counter. I don't know if we're countering things in this deck. I do like Thassa's Intervention because it does more. But I really wanted Lockmere Serpent here. Especially because it can exile things. We'll see. Okay. 
I mean, this is also one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, six, six drops and a seven drop. I don't know if we are commanding the Dread Horde. I think I'd rather have two of these. I kind of like the way this looks so far. Two Lockmere Serpent, two Liliana are win conditions, plus we have this one Kiora. Well, I was going to move you there, so. That's kind of our curve, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can see adding another one of either of these for for this. We don't have a ton of removal though. Like Atris is not removal. I don't know if this is a Kefnet deck. We actually don't have a ton of things to hit off of Kefnet, unfortunately. I like Kefnet. I think Kefnet is great. What's like the best removal in the format? Tyrant Scorn is pretty good, yeah. I could see two Tyrant Scorns. I don't feel like Rankle does anything for us, really. Are we missing any good escape cards? Mm. I'm tempted to put one more Murderous Rider in the deck. I think that's actually probably correct. Oh, I have no glimpse of freedoms? That's interesting. Jeez. Open like a million packs and they're like, no, you don't have this. Uh, let's look up Mythics and Rares to see if we're missing anything. And we can just grab another uh, Murderous Rider while we're here. I like Jace. I don't know if it's great. I don't think Thass is great for this deck. I guess blinking this could be good. But that's the only thing that we can really blink that's any good at all. So I'm not about that, I guess. Could play one Thrix. And they can't be countered, so we just get to slam one of these. That's pretty good. Jeez, that's not bad. I mean, he's a 4-5 flyer for for 5. The flash is pretty beast. Um, am I crazy? Like, is that just wrong? It's just, it's got to be wrong, right? Is it wrong? Maybe like a one of stolen by the Fae. That seems interesting. I don't know if that's great though. <laughs> oh lord. Okay, nothing. I'm just gonna put in what? Oh, because we're in craft mode, but I don't want to go off craft mode because then it'll. There we go. <laughs> because then it'll start us at the beginning again, I imagine. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're really missing anything here. I mean, Doom Whisper is also just a solid, a solid thread. I, mean, I might not even need the Gadwick, to be honest with you. I might just want to play, like, one Doom Whisper. I already have Ritual in the sideboard. I don't know if we need Ritual and Cry and Legion then. So we're going to definitely narrow this down some. I also see a Massacre Girl on the sideboard. I'm going to put that in the sideboard, just in case. 
What is this? This is a real. Is this from the set? When it enters, when it. When it attacks, exile a creature card from your graveyard. When it dies, put all cards exiled with them to the battlefield. I mean, the problem is it has to die, right? <laughs> this deck just does not seem like it's up my alley at all. What's a looser? Apparently the sideboard is for losers. I don't know what a looser is. Could be one Erebus intervention, actually. I don't hate that. I actually don't know it. I actually don't enjoy decks like this. <laughs> like decks where I'm just cycling through cards in my deck and not actually doing anything proactive. Just that, that's just not that's never been fun for me. I guess we can take out one Omen of the Sea for one more Tyrant Scorn. I, I don't mind that. And then we are actually just testing this. So, all right. Uh, I like Duress. I like either Gust. Stainful Stroke's good, Legion End's good, Grasp is good. Hmm. I actually don't mind the sideboard, right? So. Alright, let's see if this uh Oh, let's um Alright, let's put Lockmere Serpent as our boy. And let's make it the obvious cryptic command. All right, let's see how this goes. Oh, I don't want to. I didn't want to do that. I guess it's fine. Traditional, standard, ranked. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, Metamize Prophecy is not bad. I don't know if it's better than than two mana preordain though. Like, you know, I think you play one or the other. But what up, Jay Walsh? Um, yeah, I mean, it's all right. And we get to play all three of these. All of them, all of them help us find more lands. Oh, look. They're playing that deck. I don't think we need that. Lamagoy, thanks so much for the bits, buddy. Really appreciate it. I can do bits on my phone now. Suck it, future. Wait. Show me what you've got. Um. We could just get a murderous rider and then get rid of thought oration, then get rid of the shepherd next turn. That seems good. I already have one. I'm good with that. Those bits seemed very loud, did they not? I'll choose this one. Uh, I will keep you on top. problem with this so both of my daughters won grand champs in their division at the show choir ch dang man must be nice to be uh so successful in life that was almost as being cool as called as being called longtime supporter of the stream llama life i wrote about the deck that we um that we brewed up for tomorrow's article on cool stuff so definitely check that out if you get a chance because I was actually really impressed with the um, with how it turned out. If we hit a land and we can enter the God Eternals on this guy, I would be quite thrilled. We did not, so. Sacrifice two other creatures. It's annoying, right? Because then they sacrifice both their other creatures. 
It's like the perfect draw, right? Like. It's frustrating. What if they want to sacrifice it? Because we're bouncing, it's fine. Wow, all four castle lock planes. That's something. Yeah, I'll keep island. Ooh. So you have cat and one other card, huh? Pretty sure we're just Ashiocking here. Bouncing Bouncing mind. This Ashiok voice is something. I can't even fucking handle it, dude. So, to be clear, when we played Thief of Santa, they top decked a blocker. Uh, that could also be sacrificed to this. When we top deck Ashiok, they top deck Murderous Rider. Cool beans. And now, and now the end is upon us. Llama Goyf, have a good afternoon, buddy. Or, you know, night, what have you. I don't actually know how to beat this. Like it's just un it's just not fun. Like this is this is exactly why I don't play standard guys. It's happening right now in the fir very first game. Um like they can just block our guy forever, sack it, make food token, sack the food token, get their guy back. We take more damage than they do. So And if we try to kill this with murderous rider, they just sacrifice in response and then our murderous rider never gets to be cast. Like it's kind of annoying. When will the last stream be before the move? Uh, tomorrow, maybe maybe Thursday. One, two, three. We can draw two here. I think I'd rather just keep Thassa's intervention up. I mean, I, th I assume you mean artifact, and no, black and blue do not have ways to kill artifacts. So. Yep, resolve. <sighs> sure. That's not as problematic. The second one's always worse than the first until we mill up. 
Or they drew another cat. Oh, they didn't draw another cat? Wow. Surprise, surprise. I have never had my roof redone. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep that on top. Oh, it exiles. Never mind. It does a mill, which is so much better. So I can do this twice a turn now. So that's pretty good. We can probably never gain life from Murderous Rider. Actually, that is better. Yep. Now they just sack the food, get the cat back, sack the cat, get the... Do they test these cards? Like, I don't understand. Like, do they test these interactions and... In design? Like... Block, block, sack, sack. Get two cats, I go to three. Yep. Remember this game? They mulligan to fucking five this game. They mulligan to five, and we had two thought erasures for the cards in their hand. This is a game where I'm, they mulligan to five, and we thought erasured them fucking twice. Like... I can't. What are the chances we can tap? I mean, it's low. We may have to. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. If we hit a land, we can go Ashrock and Thief. I guess we can also go Thief and Thassa's Intervention if we really, really have to, but... Oh yeah, we're just dead. Cool. <laughs> it's like, oh man, fuck this game so much, dude. Fuck it so hard, dude. Wow. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, Borrower seems bad. It's just so dumb. Well, yeah, it's miserable. This is exactly what I was afraid of. I think we got lucky when we played against the uh, three three decks that were not this deck when we played the, the black green ramp deck. But now that we're playing against this deck, it's like, oh yeah, I totally remember why I hate this format. I totally forgot. Now I remember. Two Lockmere Serpents can't lose. Okay. What was the most oppressive standard block you played in? Um, That's a good question. I actually don't think I know off the top of my head. Oh, wait, it costs one mana, so you can just play it whenever you want. 
Wow, we have to deal with Night Hurt, Night Shepherd, and Grey Merchant now? Cool. Well, that does kill one of them, so I guess we'll keep it. Feeling like everything you do is futile is prevalent enough in the real world. I don't need it in my gaming as well. Same, buddy. Same. Oh, they drew another another oven. Good for them. You got it. Cobbler was pretty bad. Oh, that's a good hit. I guess we can take two here. <sighs> Actually, Brett, you might be right. Unmoored Ego might be the might be the play. I'm going to take these two. I mean, drawing two is probably better than just drawing one Omen of the Sea. I don't really see it. I see myself having time. I guess next turn we could have cast Omen and, and, and Murderous Rider, but... Yep. Just keep on. Keep on, keep on. So many things are being done. They sack the cat, and then they sack the knight. Oh. Oh, because they would have to exile it, so I guess that wouldn't even make any sense. Well, next turn we do get to go Lockmere Serpent, which is kind of cool. Does the Grey Merchant do anything against us right now? Deals three. It's not terrible. Of course, you never. They never don't. They never don't have more of these. This guy. Draw two every single game. It's pretty good. Now we're just one, two, three, four, five. We're taking six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's cool. So we're at three. More LGS FNM streams? Unlikely. Unlikely. I don't know how I'd haul my computer up to the store. That sounds no bueno, my dude. I don't even want to play this. Like, I'd rather just take the five and just play Lockmere Serpent. Yeah, I think the new Unlands are good. I think they're a nice combination of the of, of the other two options. Get all sacked by cat. Can't they sack the Grim Merchant and kill us here? Oh god. This game is exhausting. Man, I sure don't miss playing not playing standard. Seems rough. Yikes. One of my favorite standard was um Lorwyn. 
uh, Lorwyn, not, uh, what's the, what's the set that came after friggin' Lorwyn? Um, Shards of Alara. Where, like, you could play Cruel Command, Cruel, Cruel, uh, which is, like, Cryptic Commands and Cruel Ultimatums and Cloud Threshers were in the deck. Um, I don't like Brazen Borrower here. I do like Ego. I think that was a good idea. Brett's a real smarty. Uh, take out an Aether Gust. Take out Disdainful Stroke, I guess. I feel like we're not playing Thassa's Intervention. Like, are we? I feel like we're tapping out. I mean, I almost feel like I want, like, Duress in the main deck. What if I just put, like, two Duress in here? Is that worse than... I feel like Agonizing End. Agonizing whatever it is might be better. Like, because there's so many creatures. Alright, let's see if that makes any difference whatsoever. Man, it's so funny because it's like it's it's so like disheartening because I had fun playing standard the last time when it was me and Rob and we were playing against not this deck, right? And there were decisions to make and I felt like it was a lot of back and forth. And uh and then as soon as I play this fucking cat deck again, it's like Well, here we are, I guess. I guess it wasn't as good as I thought. You mean five color perfect mana standard where good decks played cryptic command cults made him in cloud thresher? Yeah, but but also like the aggro decks were still good. Like there were still blue like fairies which had bitter blossom, kithkin, um, you know like there was a ton of different variety in that format that you could play. Um, Brett, if I have to play friggin' ley lines, man, that don't do anything. I feel like I'm just already. I feel like I've already lost. Look at this handful of basics. Well, on the bright side, it looks like we're not playing against. Thank you. Amy, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate you. Really appreciate 28 months. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm a main deck for Leyland of the Void. Don't do it. Let's see what we got here. Finale, I don't care about. Shepard is annoying. Oh, we're taking champion for sure. Don't need a 7,000th land. Meow. There's a guy in my local game store that absolutely despises Cat Oven. Yeah, I'm just, oh, I, I, I would be that guy. Um, so inside of the rest of the place, Cat Oven decks, we had seven cat... Oh my god. I'd rather die. Ugh. Like, did we just hit finale? I think we probably just hit finale and see what else they got here. Yep. All right. Filk money, what's going on, my dude? Good morning from Japan, my dude. It is Japan's day, my dude. That doesn't even make any sense. Why would he say that? All right, let's see if I can get one hit in with our Thief of Sanity. Fuck money, I see it. No, nope, of course not. Of course not. Of fucking course not. Why would be able to get one hit? One hit with Thief of Sanity. Never don't have it. That's insane. That's insane, right? Oh my god, what am I doing? Jeez, that's amazing, dude. Like, it's almost like it gets to a point where I'm like, I'm not even mad, I'm just impressed. Uh, one, two, three, four, you can go in the graveyard. 
with the with the two scry off the omen, technically four scry and the extra card, I do not foresee us needing that. Uh... Oh, for fuck's sake! Come on, dude. Okay, cool. So they just kill us next turn. Five, one, two, three, four, five. They untaps. Does it untap the land? No. Untap the land you control. Yeah. One, two. So they're just going to attack us for a million next turn. And we literally drew. Absolutely. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Okay. Uh, okay. Take the take those out for now. Take Thassa's intervention out. It's just, I mean, like, I can't even, like, They had nothing again. Their hand was nothing but lands. And then they draw Banishing Light 5-5 five, five that kills us on the, on the board. Like, what? <laughs> Am I crazy? But they didn't have an answer for it. That's the thing. They had to draw it in like two turns. And they did. So it's like... I guess Ritual's probably fine. I don't know, man. Magic's hard. And frustrating. Yep, I'll keep it. First round opponent mulligans to five. We take both of the, the relevant cards in their hand. They top deck removal spell. They top deck uh, the 4-4 four, four flyer into... I don't even care anymore. I do. I do care. I'm just trying not to. Okay, this guy's fine. You're, yeah, you're meh. Jeez, oh, Triceratops, huh? Man, I'm pretty sure it's this guy. We can kill... Yeah. I think that's fine. Like, we can play all three of these plus the Tyrant scoring. And next time we're going to play Thieves, so... Alright. Let's see if you can hit that, that Vanishing Light again. No. Do either of these have Reach? No. Okay. When you play Thief of Insanity, but it steals your insanity. Well, it's not stealing my insanity. That would be crazy. It steals your sanity. <laughs> I mean, probably could have hit a land there, but... If you don't, then it's, like, just real bad. I'm pretty sure the Wilhelm Scream goes back way farther than Star Wars. God, getting a real job? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm game. All right, let's see it. Oh, look at this. Look at this beast. Should have played it first, I guess. Joke's on me. Here comes this fat boy. You ready?
Crap boy, coming through. I can't counter it. Why is it red around? Why is the border red? What is that? What is that thing? Is that just means it's on the stack? All right, you got it. Thick gentleman incoming. I'm definitely killing this. Destroy a creature with converted mana cost. Can't be countered anyway, sure, but I don't have a counter spell in my hand, so. You know how we do. You don't have trample, right? Or, uh, reach, rather. Um. Well. I guess we're just playing Oracle here. <sighs> I will choose this pile for sure. Oh, I already got one of those. I feel like there's just this is like one of the first standard formats that doesn't have a good two mana removal spell like a ultimate price or like a doom blade or something what do you get here for three probably something terrifying i would imagine something terrifying i mean is this just a four murderous rider format oh that guy's fine yeah i'll take i'll take five here Hmm. That's kind of cool. So we do this for four. I mean, I think we just Ashiok bounce this, then we don't take a million, right? But then Ashiok dies? That seems bad. Whatever. I'm Never okay with it. Not, want not. I think this is probably better. You got it. I presume you'll play another enchantment and draw a card. Oh, that's just a non-enchantment. Make a zomboy. Definitely keep you, and then we can play Ashiok. What's that one? Play QR best, that's why we're here. Yeah, I, I agree with you, actually. That seems Your fair. But a dream to me. What cards have we not been impressed with? Nothing I can think of. Well, that top deck, though. Okay, so that seemed fine. Ritual is probably actually pretty okay. I guess we can put the second one in for a copy of. I mean, we have two Aether Gusts, two e e two extinctions, three murderous riders for the five five. The five five is over, and two noxious grass. So one two three four five six seven eight nine. Nine answers for that thing, not including like the four. I think Ash Shock's awesome. Making making two threes against them seems just fine. I mean, like if we're only if we're if we're only worried about the five five, that's one thing. But I think they're all their guy. It gets, it deals with all their guys quite well. I mean, I would probably cut a Lockmere Serpent. I would cut Kiora Bests, but I mean, like, no, they're two threes. Yeah, I mean, two threes are significantly better than three twos in this situation.
So Thief of Sanity next turn is nice. Yikes. I feel like your avatar is visual for how you feel waiting in the current state. Yeah, it's, it's correct. Fibblethip is totally lost here, bro. Um, I honestly don't think I want either of these. I don't feel like we have time for this. I think one Thief of Sanity is really... Okay. Well, next turn we do need... Um, we do need another blue source if we want to play both of these, which we do. Oh, man. Can it, can it, can we get a ritual? Did they whiff? Oh, that's, that's sad. Oh man, ritual off the top one time, dude. Oh, I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, the Kraken art is what you meant? Not gonna, not gonna block there. That's if they have one card in hand. Well, we wanted to land. Do we take a banishing light? I mean, obviously we take a banishing light, but I mean it'd be nice if we had five lands here because then we could play two things: either murderous rider one of these, or Ashiok or banishing light one of these. Like, but. I guess we only have 24 lands in the deck. We should probably actually up the land count. Actually, maybe we just play... Just play more of the Excuse me. Woo. Okay, we still want that ritual. Yeah, come at me. Come at me. Still no land, huh? Okay. Oh, Finale of Glory could be good eventually. Did they get another Dryad? Fascinating. <laughs> Man, lands would be pretty sweet here, but... They have no cards in hand. Well, Devout Decree doesn't do much. <laughs> uh, Alright, well... Let me get rid of this guy because it's kind of an engine, I guess. Fifth land would really be 
Six land would be even better. All right, so Ooh, Wake Root Fat Boy or Archon. How many Oh, I like Archon here actually. Especially because we can start hitting their things like uh like vanishing light. I think this game's over. I'm okay with it. We're banishing light. It. Nice. Make a make a Pegasus. Um, let's take action. Let's get an island. Vanishing light. Oh, oh no! Oh no! We made a mistake. I one two three four five six. We have five mana. Isn't this three? And this is oh, this costs three. I thought it cost two because I'm thinking of mine. Well, that's unfortunate. I think we're still fine. The thirteen. Five, six, seven, eight. Well, that's a bummer. That was, that was a mistake. So we have two blockers, but they don't trample. So yeah, that's fine. We're still fine. Yeah, we're at 17. We block the two fives. We got 11. Uh, I have no idea what happened to Fenix in the lore. I mean, why do why do we think something happened to him? Because there's like, isn't there like 20 gods in there? 15 gods in Theros? Five monocolored and 10 dual colored. And we only saw like a handful of them in this set. So like, I mean, we could presume that like something happened to... And there's also new ones, right? Like Xenagos isn't around. Well, that's presuming they didn't draw like a banishing light or something. We don't know what's in their hand. Like if they draw, if they draw also devout decree, like then we don't win. So like, it's a risk. I guess we win. What favorite set are your favorite story or lore? That's a really good question. Hmm. I do like Innistrad. Okay, so let's add another land, because I didn't actually realize we only had 25 land, 24 lands in the deck. So I want to take out the Gadwick. Also, they're giving me the ugly lands. I ain't about that. Why would they do this? I guess I'll play another Dismal. Should be 25 lands, right? Yeah, I like that a little better. Oh, Fable Passage isn't bad. Um, 
I think backward is probably just better though, right? I mean, they're both going to come to play tap before turn four. But one of them is a dual land that gains you life. And I don't think we really have anything that cares about our graveyard in the deck. Scry two. Well, yeah, but if the deck plays a lot of expensive things, I feel like Dismal Backwater is just better, right? Because you're A, not thinning your deck, and they're both lands, so. Oh, you're saying coming into play untapped late. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, I would probably just cut two basics and put two failed passages in. I think that might be just better, but... I mean, then they come into play tapped later, so... Meh. I could see it. I could see adding one. I think it's fine. tomorrow guys you know what time it is um oh wow field passage yeah we'll keep it oh yeah definitely keeping that guy yeah that seems fine I'm not enjoying Thassa's intervention that much, to be honest with you. They didn't do anything, so... Maybe this guy survives. Never survives. I'm over here trying to find a gray, an aging potion. I have, like, ten gray hairs. Uh, I bet there are ways we could, we could get around this. Um... I feel like I just want to keep up. I just want to keep up Thassa's intervention. Like, sure, you can have your own one. But if you want to play that beast, really? You didn't even play the beast? Interesting. Well, I'm not going to murder Shredder or eat that guy. I'll take these two, sure. <laughs> okay. I kind of like looking at their hand here. I kind of just like playing Ashiok though. Do we think they're playing counter spells with the Lovestruck Beast? I wonder if you're brave enough to overcome your fears. This is value because they just discard a card. They get rid of their 1 1 and they discard. And if they're killing this, then they discard two cards essentially. Oh, they're killing their own guy. Sure. Still fine, right? The tides that bind us all. Rise, my yep. friend. Never not tired of that fucking card. At least we can play Lockmere Serpent next turn. 
Can we dodge their death sprout? No, but we can get them back, I guess. Yeah, death sprout's pretty obnoxious here, I guess. Um can just play this, they death sprout it, we kill this guy. Or this is great. Oh wow, that's pretty decent for us now. Oh jeez. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You you can block, right? Yeah. Okay. No thanks. All right. Let's see if this lockmere circuit 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 can get the the job done. Oh, this is decent because now they're gonna play. Yep. You got it. Attack with your beastie boy. Hope you didn't draw a death sprout number four. <laughs> oh, Lockmere Serpent, you so crazy. Every time Lockmere Serpent is on the stack, you win the game. Did you guys know that? All right. <laughs> Amy, I'm usually real good about correcting people on Ashiok's genderlessness. Every time Rob is like, oh, they cast Ash, uh, you should attack her. Attack Ashiok. And I'm like, uh, Ashiok is a bay. Let's take out Intervention. We'll bring in Noxious Grasp. Oh, uh, everything else seems good. I'm okay with it. Oh, uh, yep, yeah, this is good. Um, I'll keep it. The four life could be relevant, a four four could be relevant. The only problem is that, like, it doesn't block Love Struck Beast very well, but main phase growth spiral. Fascinating. Wow, well, I wouldn't have kept the first one had I known there was a second one just waiting for me. Well, this guy's going to get death sprouted for sure. Yeah, I don't I don't actually dislike their deck. Their deck is pretty sweet. Like death sprout, love struck beast. Casualties of war for 2. That's fascinating. I could if I tried. Um. Can hate this card. It's the most fine thing. Which cannot protect itself. The land fights for us. You got it. Got to fight casualties of war. I can go enchantment, land, creature, planeswalker. This is just. Ugh. Like, they played Casualties of Wars, and I'm like, oh, that's unfortunate. They played Nissa, and I'm like, god damn it. Yeah, I don't think Nissa's bannable. I just think it's good. I need a Black Source that comes into play untapped. Can we, can we make it happen? 
No, we cannot. So I guess we're taking six at the very least. And we can play both of these next turn. Which guarantees us enter the God Eternals. That's actually not bad. What, do you, what does that even do? Oh, wow. Um, yeah, casualties is much scarier here. You're actually fine because you can kill these lands? Gaining four here is huge. Oh, it's also a forest, so that's a uh, obvious reason. It's so weird when they kill their land. Like, I still get the card, dude. But now they don't have a way to kill our forest. I, mean, I guess we don't gain the life, but... Okay, well... Pretty sure we just murderous rider tyrant scorn one of the lands. Oh my god, I don't have enough black sources for that. Oh yes I do. I gotta pay a million life for it, but I mean it's definitely worth it. They have one card in hand. I think going to seven seems fine here. I was I was like, oh no, what have I done? See, that's what I mean. Like you can compete in standard against top tier cards like Hydroid Crassus and Nissa. The problem is once they start playing like the stupid cat combo, it's just there's not enough going on. Like there's not enough ways for non white green decks to deal with the enchantment or the artifact. And if they get multiple, it's just kind of obnoxious. Katie, my love, what's going on? So I've liked everything here. Athassa's intervention I'm kind of iffy on. I kind of want a, for a, another Tyrant Scorn. Tyrant Scorn has seemed very, very good. And maybe another Murderous Rider? What if we go plus Rider, plus Scorn, subtract to... Where are they? To Intervention. Spyglass can stop. Yeah, it stops it a little bit, but it's like... Meh. Meh. <laughs> OP, I'll animate my lands. Frank kills the lands. OP, shocked face. <laughs> All right, let's play one more with this deck. And then, like, you guys can, uh, you guys can give it a go if you like. You can do a little thing and... Yeah, I'll keep this hand. Not only do we have three three drops. But one of them can find us lands. Oh, man. 
assuming you can keep her from ultimating, I think it would be funny to just kill all the opponent's lands sequentially, one, one after another. You know what? You keep making your... You keep doing your things. Your dingle bops and your sloopy doos. I'm going to just kill this guy now, actually, because if we ever try to kill it, um, they can just activate in response and draw a card, so I'd rather not do that. What is this? What is the back of this card? What is your card back? I can't see it because... Oh, look at that. It's just an elk. Fascinating. Fascinating. That's fascinating as well. Well, we're definitely playing this now to try to hit a land because that's important to us. You can go for sure. Oh, I like that a lot. How do I get those? Well. Man, I never thought Nessie and Hornbeal would be a, a legitimate threat, but here we are. I guess we're just gonna kill this Yorvo. And then they play this and attack us for another five. Yeah, this deck seems good. I'm surprised at the number of decks that have like four power creatures that cost three or four. My heart beats in unison with the wild. <laughs> Stomping time. So we go to seven, we kill both of these, then they deal us seven. That's. Yep. Of course, we have not hit a. Fourth or fifth land, but you know. What can you do? What can you do? <laughs> okay, so again. Take out one lock mirror, take out Kiora bests, unfortunately. Um take out the remorse, one omen. Bring in Ritual, bring in Noxious. I think we'll keep Kiora best just because she's good. Bring in Aethergust, I guess. Is Brawl only a Wednesday thing? I don't even know how... I haven't. I don't think I've played a single game of Brawl in my entire life. Uh, yeah, keep. Sure. Just need lands again, guys. Famous last words. Okay, this actually looks very good now that we can go uh, kill whatever they play here and then Tyrant Scorn. Isn't Lovestruck Beast and the Beetle kind of a nonbo because the Beast... Uh... I guess it's as much of a nonbo as Thief of Sanity and Ritual of Soot, right? All right, let's see if you can get in there. Well, that's pretty decent. I mean, that's never going to be online, I guess. Split him up. I'll take these two. I don't need a second Thief of Sanity here. Mm 
<laughs> so er basically everything everything dies to uh to the thing except for so they just block with these two let's get another free card first oh so yeah this is not like we can cast both halves of this i think we just want the hydra though the hydra seems insane Um, you're legendary, so I'm actually going to bottom you. Well, that's a good one. Brett, what happened? Faced up three good cards and put down a tap land? What do you mean? Because there's only three cards, right? So you can only put two face down. Yep, no blocks. Two, three, four. Oh, so you put the, the two, two, two face down cards. Why would he... Oh my god, why would he ever take the tap land? That's hilarious. I would just be like, nah, man, I'm good. Oh, so the two the two face up cards were good. And then you put one tap land face down. And you're like, oh, what did you what are you hiding? Oh that, okay, that's that's significantly better. Uh I'm just gonna graveyard that. Did I play land this turn? Yes I did. Alright. I mean, I guess we're just taking four and trading with a Voracious Hydra. Oh, well, I guess we could just do that, too. So what is this guy going to be? One, two, three, four, five. We can do it for three. Uh, double. Yep, 6-7 seems pretty good. A 6-7 tremble for 5 mana? Like, come on. How are games going today? I think we're 2-1 right now. What, that's a freaking third questing beast? Come on, dude. I mean, I'm just gonna block. Because we can't crack back, so what's the point, you know? All right, well, let's get that last card, I guess. Oof, that's a good one. Yeah, we'll keep that at this point. Virgis Gearhook was an 88 for five. Dang, that's a good point. Yeah, we're just passing here. Um, one, two, three, four. We can actually scry, or we can just keep up Tyrant Square if they want to attack with this. Well, let's see what they top decked. Questing beast number four. Yeah, that's decent, I guess. Oh, interesting. Um, See, now that we have the scry, I can get rid of both of these. Because then, like, whatever I draw is just going to be better than looking at this. What's for dinner? Actually, I don't know. Maybe tacos? Thank you. Standard beat. Our sub baby is learning to flood out on his own. God, that's all I could ever ask for. Our, for our beautiful child. Thank you. I do have tacos. I do have. I do have tacos, which is probably what I'm most okay with eating. Um, yeah, I'll just play this. Oral, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, my dude. 
I'm just gonna end turn here because if they play something ridiculous as one two, if they play like Yorvo, I want to be able to kill it so they can't just attack us for a thousand. Here come! Oh god! Oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> oh lord we did it boys we did it that's why we do the things we do well katie aren't you gonna have spaghetti with meatballs for like the rest of this week's lunches so Draw your creature with converted mana, cost three or less. Pull back your row, put your little keen eyed Nylia back. Uh, I have tried black olives on tacos because at this restaurant, Carmelitas, that we go to, they do put them on there. So. Interesting. Can I kill you? There's no way for me to deal that extra one point, is there? I think we should ritual have stood here. That should be game because we also have Aether Ghost, so I can't imagine they come back from this. When does your trip start? I'm I start driving on Friday. Katie, you love olives. Remember that time I made you to try that olive on Christmas? And you were like, this is delicious. This is probably the best the best thing I've ever tasted. And I was like, I'm glad you think so. I mean, all things considered, their draws have been great. Like, they top deck Voracious Hydro the turn they needed to kill this guy. Um, they top deck Yorvo when they needed to turn on Nylia, and it was the exact card we figured they would draw. They drew three questing beasts. Like, their draws were great. Kate, I don't believe that for a second. I think you loved it. Have you ever tried mayo and mustard in your applesauce? Fucking banned. Or worn a shirt as a hat. I think you know I've worn a shirt as a hat. Because I did it right here. On Saturday Night Live. Um, no. Um, our deck seems good. I got one omen of the sea. I may have puked my mouth a little. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you and me both, my dude. You and me both. Shirt hat day was my best ever. Good lord. I don't even know where I... I don't even know. Oh, good. The one lander. But it's a temple, and we have two, two, three two drops. And we're on the draw? All right, we're doing it, guys. We're living the dream. Oh, God. We're... Mistakes were made. Oh, yes. Mistakes were not made. And we have a surveil. Oh, yeah. We're doing it. Oh, yeah. One down. Oh, keep it. Snap it up. Oh, they have three forests and a questing beast. Oh, yeah. We're living the god dang dream. Dang it, Bobby. We're living the god dang dream. And this Noxious Grasp is great for this. Um, yeah, you can go. Unfortunately, we don't have... Okay, so next to combat. End the turn. But we're going to stop on your main because I don't want you to play this guy and pump this dude. Resolve that guy. Get out of my house. Killing it. Guys, we are just straight killing it. That's it. Game's over, man. Look at only your stored karma from playing against Cat Evan can make it so that this sort of chicanery can be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, God. That's hilarious, dude. Alright, so we. What are we getting here? Let's see. Oh, Vivian or Voracious? Oh, we're going Vivian for sure. And then we're playing this fat 
fat, fat Shiok. I'm just gonna make a guy here. Don't play another questing beast. That's fine. I'll probably just let Ashiok take three. We have double Tyrant Scorn for both of these. Jeez. That seems too good. Yeah, that's fine. Bad Larry is gender neutral. That's correct. You can get caught between the moon and New York City. Let's see what we got. Oh, love struck boy. Alright, I think we're way ahead, guys. I don't know. Uh, Frank is stopping at Maggiano's in Denver on his way. I am. It, it's true. I'm going to take a detour to do some family style in, Mag in, in Denver. Um, you got it. Oh, they just made it a thing. Alright, sure. Actually, I'm pretty sure I just killed a Nessian beetle this turn. Nah, I don't. Well... Why is my volume so much higher? Did I mess something up? Daniel Talk Ty, one, I finally caught you all up in the Vintage Drafts YouTube book. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. You know what? I don't care. Get your stupid counter. If you want to attack into both my Ashiox. That's cool. Yeah, come at me, bro. You stupid little bug. It's aggressive. Iowa to Colorado seems roundabout and like you'll need to hitchhike many extra miles. What does that even mean? I'm gonna kill this dude. Let me get a discard spell. Oh, I didn't get it. Sick beetle, bro. You can stay home. Look at all this milling we're doing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good lord. They're basically dead. One, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> okay. Uh, one, two, three. What's it doing? What's going on here? Oh, what? What's going on here? Oh, because it's green. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, all right, whatever. I guess we'll just cast this guy as a three-three then. Nope, that's that's not what I wanted to do at all. All right, well, that's life, I guess. I can't lose a fight. Okay, they're they're down here. Yo, ranking up. Guys, hope you enjoyed this blue black deck, because I did. And once you play against other more fun brews in the deck, you can brew things in the format and you can brew things and still have a good time. And I think that's pretty sweet. That's what I like about Standard, right there. You just experienced it. I made this deck from scratch. It's not a tier one deck, but we played against other decks that other people have brewed and played, and some of them were, were good, and uh, you still get to compete, you know? And that's what I like about Standard. I don't like having to build a deck that can only compete with, with tier one decks, and I accept that that's Standard, and that's, that's the competitive nature of Magic the Gathering. I accept that. I just don't love it, you know? So if we can play a deck with... Uh, Six two mana discard spells, Tyrant Scorn, Thief Sanity, Murder Strider, Art Artis, Artris, Atris, Atris, nailed it. Uh, Ashiok, Lockmere Serpent, Kiora, it entered the God Eternals in it. I, I'm okay with that. And uh, so if you guys like, I mean, like that's the thing. Like if you guys want to take a deck like this, play it at FNM or play it at like 
something something fun like i think it's i think it's a good choice you have a lot of answers to like green things and early creatures um especially with like ritual of soot and legion's end and aether gust and stuff like that noxious grasp so um the cat deck is a little harder just because it's an obnoxious combo that bl that blue black doesn't have a way to deal with you cannot deal with artifacts in blue and black it's just not a thing really so you know either way hope you guys enjoyed it be sure to check patreon.com slash frank laporte cool stuff inc every wednesday for a new article manatraders.com it's a great way to uh, get a subscription for borrowing magic cards physical or paper and you can check that out with the link and promo code down below to get 20 percent off the first three months and uh, be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons guys you can also uh join membership on youtube if you guys are watching on youtube and you don't want to go to uh go to twitch to do that so definitely check that out and i'll see you guys next time thank you so much for watching I'll see you later.